Good morning, everyone. Today for writing, we are going to practice bringing our characters to life and we're going to practice making them talk. So in the past, we've made our characters talk by using the speech bubbles. But now that we're writing a narrative and we're writing realistic fiction, we have to make them talk by using quotation marks. And you'll see this in stories all the time. Quotation marks show the reader that the character is speaking and it lets the reader change its voice and it shows who's talking and it helps bring your story to life and bring your character to life. So today, after watching this, I want you to try to make your character talk and I want you to try using those quotation marks. So let's give an example. I'm just going to pretend I'm the character. I miss my class. So that's what I am saying. Notice how I have the quote here and then the end quote, but I have to then put an attribution, which means I have to say who's saying this. I miss my class. Who's saying that? Is that the principal? Is that one of the students? Is that a specials teacher? Is that Mr. K? Well, it's Mr. K. So I put the comma in the quote. Don't worry about commas. I just want you to practice using the quotation marks for now. You'll learn more about that later on. I miss my class, said Mr. K. And then a period at the end. Notice the capital letter at the beginning, the period at the end, and then the quotation marks show the character is talking. And he said, I miss my class. The other way you can write it is putting the attribution first. Mr. K said, then we put our quote, I miss my class. And our period. So it still starts with our capital letter. We had the comma there, the quote, we had our attribution come first. Either way is correct. You can either have the person who's talking come first and then put your quote or you can just start with your quote and then say who said it after. I also shared with you today this sheet because the word said is used all the time and sometimes it's better to use a different word depending on how your character is feeling. Is your character talking softly? Is your character yelling really loud? I don't know. Is your character scared? Is your character angry or happy? You might want to use a different word than said, and you can also add on after you say the word said. Said with a smile, said with a frown. That changes how your character is feeling. Or you can use these words instead of said. So let me show you an example. I miss my class. I'm sorry, this is not as bright as I, I hope this looks okay. I miss my class. That's what Mr. K is, is saying. But instead of saying said Mr. K, I'm going to put cried Mr. K, period. Notice how the word cried changes the quote. He's not just saying it. He's crying it. I miss my class, cried Mr. K. Or maybe he's whining it like a little baby. Whined. Mr. K. Notice how this changed. I miss my class. Now he's whining. I used a different word instead of said. So you can always check this list and see if there's a better word. Maybe he mumbled it. And that means he said it really softly. I miss, I miss my class. Mumbled. Mr. K. And then you can even add more. I miss my class, mumbled Mr. K. So he's saying it softly. And maybe he's saying it like under his breath. I miss my class, mumbled Mr. K under his breath. Or what if he screamed it because he's so angry? I miss my class, screamed Mr. K. I miss my class, screamed Mr. K. Now he's not as sad, he's angry. So if you change that word on the attribution, the thing that comes after who says who says it, you can change how your character is feeling. 
The most important thing I want you to do, though, is practice using these quotation marks. Make your character talk, even if it's on your first page, and that's okay. All you're doing now is you can still work on your first page. Some of you have jumped ahead, which I love, but I really want to see you bring your character to life by making them talk. If you use the word said, that's okay. I want to see you practice those quotation marks. Then say who's saying it after. And don't worry about the commas as much, said Mr. K. Make sure it has a period at the end, a capital letter at the beginning. Try to use this list of different words instead of said. If you want to show how your character is feeling, maybe he's scared, maybe he's angry. So you can try to use some of these different words and make your character come to life by making them talk and adding dialogue to your story. Thank you for watching.